Is there a difference between the scent of white lilacs, purple lilacs, deep purple lilacs, and pink lilacs? Let's answer that. So here you can see three different color varieties that we have on my mother's property. My dad just loved lilacs, so he kept collecting different uh, variations. Um, but in between, there is also a pink one that you can add to this. And I think there's also a shade that's even deeper purple. And the difference between all three of them is there is a scent profile difference. The darker you go, the more ionones that you'll find. So there's beta ionones and alpha ionones which is associated to more powdery scents. So we find this uh, molecule in other florals that are all related to the color purple, like violets, irises, I think it's also in heliotropes. So the darker you go, the more powdery it's gonna smell and, and perhaps like a little bit creamier. The lighter you go, the more floral and citrusy it's gonna smell. And white lilacs tend to smell also more floral and fresher. And that's associated to a higher level of aldehydes and also linalool and linalil acetate uh, that gives more of that uh, both fruitier and fresher quality. But let's do a smell test. So the white lilacs that we have are extremely light. I don't think this would perform very well if I was trying to do a technique of enfleurage, but it is quite beautiful. It smells really light, fresh, green. I'll go right away to the dark one just as a base of comparison. Yeah, super, it feels darker, it feels a lot more powdery. It's actually slightly spicy. Definitely smells richer, it smells heavier. This is the variety that most people are accustomed to. And this one is just smells clean and soapy and it seems like it feels really in between both of them. And I would assume that the pink one is also in between this one and that one in terms of scent signature, like a slightly more floral um, than the purple counterpart. Maybe next year I'll try and experiment with all three, we'll see.